Hey guys, Wastrick here taking a look at my uh, British civilian duty respirators. I uh, got this one a while ago along with this one and I'm just now making a video because I decided to get around to it. Now this is the British civilian duty respirator introduced during World War II for uh, non-combatant personnel so they could uh, still do their jobs while being protected against gas. Uh, this one right here made in 42 this one made in 46 so this one is a post-war model this one actually was found hanging on a hook in the basement of a house you can see the rubber flapper valve is shot and the actual rubber of the mask itself is in horrible condition and it's really nasty inside now this one I picked up off of eBay for uh, $33. It came with the mask itself, the uh, bag, which is dated 1941, and an empty tin for the anti-dimming cloth. Now this mask is in great shape. It's practically it's almost brand new. The flapper valve is ply up soft and pliable. The eyepieces are in good condition. The rubber is nice and supple, and the valves inside the mask are in good condition, and the mask is quite clean on the inside. Now one very interesting feature about this mask is that uh, the face piece is very similar to the British MK2 and the Canadian C3. Just thought it's a little interesting fact. And uh, this mask is fully adjustable. It's got a six-point head harness right here. And uh, this little slot, this little thing right here is for a microphone as shown in a Firebird JP's video. To insert the microphone, you actually have to puncture the rubber on this. So I have no intention of doing that to this mask because I believe that would just destroy it. So without further ado, let's uh, try it on. So this is the British civilian duty respirator. I do not have it fully adjusted. And if it was fully adjusted, you would hear the flapper valve sound as the air comes out of it. It sounds like a raspberry, which is kind of funny. So this is a pretty comfortable mask. Our breathing resistance is pretty low. However, being as this is such an old mask, I would highly recommend against its usage. And this is a purely civilian mask, and it's also an antique, so a nice collectible, but not an actual mask to wear. So while I'm doing this, I might as well give a shout out to some of my YouTube friends, uh, Gas Mask, for Nazi Zombie 97 retro respirators and 148 scale modeling uh, I think the Soviet 237 and um, let's see. oh yes Firebird JP of course so just making a quick video I uh, hope you guys like it uh, please comment and subscribe